Welcome to Duke's RV. I'm Duke, your video host, and today we're going to take a look at this Oliver Legacy Elite. It's a 22 model. It's the Legacy Elite Twin. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the floor plan. This is a fiberglass construction. It's built kind of like a boat. I think they used two separate pieces, put them together. All right, we're inside this Oliver. This is a nice travel trailer. See, there's plenty of room to walk around in between these twin beds. So that is uh, very functional. See, it's got a dinette over there. The uh, kitchen's right here. Uh, another thing I like about these Olivers, these latches right here, they lock close. So these aren't going to come open. You turn this, turn it over, and you've got storage all the way around. Sort of like overhead baggage compartment storage. It has a panoramic view in the back. That's priceless if you're when you're in a good spot. Let's take a look at this uh, drawer. Same thing. It's latched closed. See that high quality wood. This is a high quality rig. It's this particular one has a cool uh, TV swivel. It's up out of the way right now, but you could deploy that if you want to watch some TV. You could put a uh, cushion up here, a throw pillow, put your feet up, watch TV. You could watch it from over there. This compartment right here almost looks like a refrigerator inside, but it is just a pantry, pantry storage, but it's all fiberglass. It's got these refrigerator style trays, but the nice thing about those is uh, nothing is going to come rolling out of there and you can secure everything in place. Convenient place to hang up some uh, a dishcloth. So it's got the solar charge control. That's a ZAMP solar charge control. I don't know if you noticed the big, huge uh, solar panel on the roof. We'll look at it in just a moment. But this is a cool rig. If you never heard of an Oliver, it means you're not part of the cult. This is definitely, uh, they definitely have a following. So I'm going to stand up in here in the shower. And I would say you could be up to about five ten and stand up with no shoes on this is a decent shower it's got a it's a wet bath but it has a curtain in the right spot if you want to you could put this curtain over here and over there it's built in so that makes it convenient if you don't want to get that area wet if you're in a really humid environment you want, may not want to do that if it's dry you could uh, dry climate low humidity you can dry out the bathroom just by opening up the window and that vent fan right there all right let's take a look at the uh, closet right here lots of closet space in this one place to hang stuff up a couple of shelves that comes in real handy when uh, you're starting to load everything up to have extra space to put everything. Let's take a look at all these drawers over here. That's a high quality wood. So you've got six drawers total. This one's not as deep right here, but all the rest of them are pretty deep, pretty big. So we're for your pots and pans and utensils, stuff like that. So you've got a decent floor area here. Why that might be important if you have a dog. Well, your dog can come in here, turn around, hop up on the bed if it's a big dog. But that could be convenient. It's also better just when you are uh, hanging out if there's two people. One thing I like about this setup is this dinette. It's across from the fridge right here. But it's kind of offset. So if you're over here working in the kitchen, you have access to the cooktop, the sink, all these drawers. And if there's somebody sitting there, they're not right up on top of you. So if you've been in a small trailer, you know that is a nice layout. You've got plenty of room to get around each other if you're passing by. Comfortable place to sit. This is a really nice floor plan. Let's go ahead and go outside and take a look at some of the features on the outside. This one's got a huge solar panel up on the roof. You see it's a dual axle rig. There's a spot for your uh, propane. It's got two 20 pound tanks in there. That's all that's inside that section right there. You got a nice little uh, tray. 
place you or a place you can mount a generator or something like that. The uh, tongue jack has a built-in level. That's pretty cool. Just walk around, take a look at these alloy wheels. This is locked. All right there's your power cord right there. Looks like your outdoor shower, your gray tank is right inside there. Black and gray tank levers. Oliver, see it's got a uh, awning on each side, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of nice if you're wanting to get some shade in the morning, if the sun's coming in or something like that. So this has a quick connect right here. Just kind of walking around looking at this one. Hey, I appreciate you viewing my video, thanks.